thing we are going to talk about is the harvester and to do this let's go to kali tools and let's see the harvester with a capital h so let's read a little about the harvester here before we do that what does the harvester do it searches email addresses from a domain limiting the result to 500 all right so what is required here is that these two searches for email address from a domain name that is it so in, for any reason at all you want to search for email addresses on your own web page or you want to know the email addresses that is associated with your own web page this is the tool to use so you see that the package contains tools for gathering subdomain names email addresses virtual hosts open ports banners and employee names from different public sources search engines and also now for any reason you want to install this this is what you need to do you need to take this to Kali I'm going to paste I'm going to hit enter and I'm going to insert my password so let's go check out the harvester with the capital H and here it says command the harvester not found did you mean command the harvester? What it means is that there was an error in the spelling. So that is it. The, the colors change now, so we can continue. And um, if you look at this place, it says error. The following arguments are required. You need a domain name to add to this the harvester. But before we even think about the domain name, let's run the help. So let's look at the usage. To use the harvester, we need a domain name where we are going to search for those email address. And we need a limit that is the number of email addresses we are going to search so if you come back to this place limiting the results to 500 then you have to add dash l and you put the limit you need then in this example dash d is used to represent the domain you're going to search so that is what is going on here then from there there's another important uh, thing we need to know here which is dash b and that is the source the source means from where are we going to search for the email addresses if you take a good look at this place we have some domain name here we used to have more than this before look at this we have yahoo we used to have so many social media web on this list but I think it's been updated and taken out for maybe security reasons. So we're going to be specifying the source as we proceed. The first thing is this, we have the harvester, then we have dash D and we have the domain name, the domain parameters, that is the website we want to investigate. It's like typing someone's name into a phone book search bar. When you have names stored on your phone and you want to call someone, you have to type the person's name in order to get the name. So what you're saying is, hey, go look up textphp.voneweb.com for whatever you want to find. And the source parameter is the Bing, which is which library or search engine to use. You can use any of those available under the source section. It's not a must, you must use the 
Google, Bing, or LinkedIn here. Just go to the source and use whatever search engine you want to use. So it's like choosing to explore the Bing library instead of using the Google library. So in action, you're saying use Bing to find all public info on the domain you're going to specify. And uh, the limit parameter is this, which is the dash L. I want 100 results. I want 200 results. You need to place a limit because you don't want the harvester to keep searching, searching forever. What this limit means is how many results to fetch before stopping. And the analogy is this, bring me only the first 100 pages from the shelf. So in action, stop after you have collected 100 entries. So this is uh, straightforward. Let's now go into Kalinos and practicalize this. So let's go to the harvester. And now we're going to start with the domain, which is dash D. I'm going to use this. Then this is the domain we want to search. Then what search engine are we going to use? So here we have the source. If you take a good look at this place. So which of them are we going to use? We have Yahoo here. We have Bing here. We have so many of them here. DuckDuckGo. So here we're going to try to use Bing and uh, we're going to do that by specifying dash B. So I'm going to say dash B and I'm going to put Bing. Then again, the limit, which is dash L, as you can see here, limit the number of search results We have default to be 500. So let's set a little number as limit. Let's say dash L, let's say 20. And we're going to say enter. So here, this is what we got. Searching Bing, no IP found, no email found, no host found. And that is because this is a website set aside for testing purpose. Let me clear the screen first. Doc shop. So I'm going to say the how Vesta dash D demo dot OAPS G shop. Then the search engine I'm going to use is Bing and I want 100 results. Let's see what happens. The command is depreciated. Please use the harvester instead. All right. So there's a mistake there. My harvester is not okay. So I'm going to change that to capital H and I'll try again. And this time I'm getting results. No IP found, no emails found, no host found. So that is the output. This is a typical image of what a search result will look like. These are 10 email addresses. And if I go down, I found 29 hosts. So this is basically how to use the harvester to get emails and hosts. The harvester is a great tool, but I've come to discover that it is not as reliable as some of the tools we have in Kalinos. So in the next video, we're going to see how to use Python and AI to generate scripts that we can use to scan any website. That is all for this video. I will see you on the next one.